one of the build series. Our first step is going to be to have eight of these corner brackets printed out and then once we have all eight of those printed out we'll insert the bolts into each of these counter bore holes and couple them up with a T-nut. So we'll get all those assembled and that'll make our uh, frame assembly process much easier. That's one assembled uh, corner bracket. So you'll need two T-nuts on the right side, two T-nuts on the bottom, and two T-nuts on the vertical. And that will complete your corner bracket. You need a total of eight of these. So now we have our first one assembled. You need to go ahead and make the other seven. And then once you have all seven done, uh, you need to sort your extrusion from uh, longest to shortest. So you'll end up with four uh, long pieces of extrusion. Those will be your vertical pieces. Then you'll have uh, four medium-sized uh, pieces and six short ones. So the short ones are going to be your, your side, uh, left and right sides. And the long pieces will be the front and back. So I've already started assembling uh, the frame. And I'll show you the last corner here. And so when you put these together, you want to make sure that your, your T-nuts here are uh, horizontal so that they're going to slide directly into the, the slot and the extrusion. And so it just slides right in there. And then you want to make sure that it's flush with the end, with the hole. Just like that. And then we'll snug it up. I don't want to tighten it all the way because I'm going to adjust this later and then I'll do my final tightening operation once I've got everything put together. And I'll do the same thing here. I'll make sure that these are all aligned with the extrusion. And then it just slides right in. Okay, so we're going to make this our bottom, uh, and next thing we need is our, and these are going to go all the way flush with whatever your work surface is, so it should be flush with the bottom of the 3D print. And so I've got that in there, flush, and I can go ahead and snug that up. And I'm not going to tighten it down with an extreme amount of force, I'm just getting it snug. the channel and make sure that the t-nut is is flipping whenever you tighten it and so now you can push the frame together and flip it uh, flip the frame on its end and tighten up all the corners bottom done, we've got the, the verticals inserted, now we can put on the top. So I've already made up the top piece, same way we did the bottom, and we're just going to slide it right on, just like this. And some, something to watch out for is you want to make sure that you've got this aligned, because this is not a square shape, it's rectangular, and uh, front to back is different from side to side. So what you can do is take a measurement at the top and the bottom and make sure you've got it lined up. So this is the long side and this is the, the long side. So I've got it arranged correctly. Then your next challenge is to get all the
Okay, so all the feet are put in. You can't see them, but I'll rotate it around. So we've got all the feet put in. And now would be an excellent time to check for uh, square. And before we do that, I want to check for square just to make sure that we're in the ballpark here. Okay, good. We are, our frame is square. And so the same, same setup with these guys. We'll just put the, the screw into the counterbore hole and then come from the other side with our T-nut. And so there should be four of these. You can go ahead and make all of those up. made up, you can go ahead and slide them onto the uh, two remaining extrusions. And you want to slide them on to where uh, the end is flush because this is going to go on the vertical piece here. And again, we're not going to tighten these way down. We just want to get it snug so we can still slide it around a little bit. So we'll put one on each end. I've got my uh, jig on here and I've got this in place but these are not tight so I'm going to take my jig off and attach it to this side and make sure that it's spot on and then I'll snug this side up and then I'll take my jig off Stick it to the other side, make sure these aren't bowed out, and then I'll tighten up this side. Okay, so we have the second piece made up. I'm going to stick it onto the frame. And I'll use my jig on one side, get it into place, tighten that side up, making sure everything's flush. done with the jig and we're done with the frame so thanks for watching